Barney and friends, we're best friends. Hey, um, so I was thinking about something. I was just on the laptop. I just be in the zone sometimes, and I got I throw my brain. My brain just be thinking a lot. I'm a power thinker. That's how it is. So we're just gonna have a little phone talk. So, but I notice a lot of times too, like. I got a couple of tech people on my channel, and I dip and dab in the tech and stuff like that, uh, mostly with the phones. That's how my channel got started, um, dealing with, like, the Boost Mobile Samsung phones, I believe. So, anyway, what I noticed, though, man, um, the thing with people in certain phones, right? So, what I noticed, so I'm down here, and you can say Baltimore City or Maryland, whatever, Maryland, you know, so... What I notice is when I look at the youth, right? When a, when a youth have a cell phone or a smartphone, when a youth got a phone down here, damn near all of them have some type of iPhone. Period, dog. Don't give a goddamn what type of iPhone. It could be an iPhone 7, 8. You know, just a lot of people still got the 11s, the 12s, the, you name it. But the youth down here, damn near ninety percent, yo, matter probably even ninety five percent of the youth have iPhones down here, and what I noticed with that, what I was saying before, and the only reason I'm saying that because I'm look, I'm on Best Buy, and let me, so I'm looking at stuff like this, like this pre owned phone, like look how much they still selling the eleven for, dog, you know, four hundred dollars, and what else I was looking at, um, look at this right here, the, the pre owned. The iPhone X, $329. You know, matter of fact, let's just go up here and put in, um, you just put in Apple products. And I'm just saying, this is how, you know, they make so much money off of just the pre-owned iPhones. iPhone 8, 180. Look at this. Look at this. Look at it. The iPhone 7, 150. Look at the 11. This what I noticed, yo. And people still... Buy these iPhones, man. iPhone 8 Plus was oh, I love that phone. It just it was a nice that was a nice phone, you know that that design was a nice phone. But and I noticed this too, and I'm just I want to focus on the iPhone, you know, for right now because I done made personally myself I done made so much money when I was selling like when it's time to sell phones like on Facebook Market or something like that, dog. I done made so much money selling iPhones, yo. You know what I mean? And this is what this is what I noticed just about the iPhones in general, right? And 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 the only reason I'm talking about them because iPhones are like like shoes, yo. Like you know when people got shoes and they can sell. Like I made a lot of money selling shoes too as well. But I noticed the iPhone market is just like the shoe game. When it's time to play around with it for a little bit, keep it in good condition, and then sell it. Now. When I had different other type of phones like Motorola, um, Samsung, you know, let me see, Motorola, Samsung, uh, that's really, yeah, that's really about it between like those two or something like that. You know, I, I, I barely can make any money. Like it gotta be a, it gotta be a good Samsung phone for you to make money. But when I'm talking about the iPhones in general, it don't matter what iPhone it is, man. Well, sometimes it do matter now because everybody going by the size right now. So, something I did struggle with uh, last year was when I had um, the iPhone SE third generation when they was coming out. People kept saying like, oh, they too small. It's only 64 gigabytes. So, a lot of people be stuck on that now. But, if it's any type of big phone like the Pluses or... The 11 Pros, the 12 Pros, or something like that, they gonna jam, yo. You know, they gonna jam. And it's just, it's crazy how iPhone could just still make so much money off these pre-owned phones, yo. This is, like, it be mind-blowing sometimes. And, and, you know, and that's why, I like, you know, when we talk about, when the tech people talk about other phones, like the Pixel phones and, you know, OnePlus, or what else they got, uh, you know, on the Samsung phones and stuff like that. Sometimes it's hard to beat, but what I do notice sometimes now, even just looking on the internet, um, I might have seen a couple females with the Samsung Galaxy um, Flip, them type of phones like that. I ain't really seen nobody with the folds or any, you know, like that, but a lot of people 
you know, when, even when I'm looking online, it seems like a lot of people do have them type of phones, y'all. And um, the flip, the Samsung flips, I see a lot of women got those type of phones because they customizing the the cases with them and all make it cute and all this other stuff. So it's just, I'm like, all right, that's cool with that. But I really haven't seen anybody in person too much with it. Maybe like three or four people, you know, but, but just look at all these prices of these iPhones, y'all. And it's just, it get ridiculous sometimes, you know, but. One thing I got to say, you just got to give it to Apple, man, for them to keep on making money off of just old iPhones, yo. You know, to really could put, the, put these up here and have these pre-owned phones still at a high price like that. Like, these phones, like, yo, these phones be super old. You know, the 11s and all this other stuff, but a lot of them still get the updates as well. That's one thing I did like about um iPhone. Even if they do do that, I don't know. But, you know, a lot of times everybody talking about... um. Certain phones getting five and six updates or four updates and security updates. iPhone, yo, just used to make sure, like, I still know people right now talking about they got the iPhone 8 Plus or the damn um 10 or the 11s, like I was saying. You know, a lot of people like, yo, I ain't getting no new iPhone, man. My phone holding over. I'm going to keep this. And then what I do notice about um the iPhones, and basically, like I said, I'm talking about this is because, you know, it's like everybody go with the flow, you know. When they, when, they, when they get hooked on this damn FaceTime thing, and I understand that Android was trying to do that too as well, like the uh, Google Duo, you know, but it's just like a lot of that stuff just really not hitting the fan like that. You know, it just, a lot of people just, that FaceTime, man, they really killed the game when it was like, yo, we FaceTime, yo, and all this other stuff, <laughs> like, you know, not really too much of, of, of an app where it's like, yo, download this so we can FaceTime, you know, a lot of them pre- pre um pre-installed apps you know with the iphones man that's what that's what really kills the game you know with the iphone man them goddamn emojis that everybody always talking about you know especially from the women and then the guys got hooked on to it the damn um facetime and and most of the time pictures that's really about it with the iphone you know the wireless charging that's cool you know the sizes that's cool and all that other stuff like that but a lot of people man you know and then the one thing about the iPhone, they always made like everything clear on social media. You know, if you was using going live on Facebook, live on Instagram, you know, everything looked clear the same way. You know, if you take your pictures and do your videos, everything is clear like that. Some Android phones still be struggling, you know, like to get clear or clarity or whatever, you know, as far as using them type of apps like that. You know, they struggle a lot with that, but iPhone did you know, do a good job with that, so, but it's just like, um, that's why when I be doing a lot of unboxings and stuff like that, and then we, you know, when you got to read the processor and all this other stuff, I'm telling you, your average person, and I'm just talking about the youth, yo, a lot of them don't know about that, you know, a lot of people, they don't know about that, yo, like, even, um, the a -Bi Bionic 15 chip or, or 14 or, the Snapdragon, uh, Gen 1, 8, or whatever the hell, Gen 8, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, they don't know, they don't know about all this stuff, yo. They just know about what they see, especially like, oh, you got an iPhone? Well, shit, I'm gonna get an iPhone, yo, so we can FaceTime. Oh, my boyfriend, girlfriend, no, yo, we got a FaceTime, yo. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm gonna send these emojis and stuff like this, and we can do all, look, <laughs> like, it's just, I'm telling y'all, yo, this is what I see, and I noticed that, but if the youth really paid attention to and some of them do that's why a lot of times um when y'all see y'all social uh com social media comedians and stuff like that they do a lot of the editing from the iMovie and that's another thing with the iPhone that I like is just that iMovie that's what kills the game as well they have all this stuff yo the iPhone is really a photography studio um a music studio and um, a video studio all in one, dog. Like, I done shot music videos on the iPhone. I done did photography, professional photo shoots on the iPhone. You know what I'm saying? And edit everything strictly through the iPhone, yo. I had no laptop, no nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what I'm saying about how powerful uh, most, of them, most of the time them iPhones be. So when they cost that much, I understand that. But a lot of people don't understand why they cost you know, 500 to to $1,000 is because you could really, yo, 
if you're a singer, rapper, dancer, or whatever, I'm telling you what I'm saying. You could make it strictly off the off the iPhone, just some type of phones in general. You know, just it, because it got it got everything in one. You know, and then some of these other, um, like I said, I use Sony Vegas on my laptop. Like if Android really had some type of editing, you know, software that really was pre-installed. Like I said, if it was like a um, Sony Vegas or any other professional video editing, you know, software like that with it, it'll be cool. Now, of course, you got some you could download and mess around with, but it's, it ain't really like the iMovie, like how you could do a lot with that. The voiceovers, you know, just all types of stuff. Split screen, green screen, you know, not saying there's no apps on, on the Android like that, but it's just, it's you can't beat that. That's all I'm saying with that, you know what I mean? So, I just wanted to talk about that and give big ups to the iPhone because, you know, I just keep, you know, it's, I don't know, man. It's just, it's so confusing sometimes because I like the Android because when you get a cheap laptop or a decent laptop, you know, your Android is compatible straight with it. I could put pictures and, and move videos straight over to it, you know, and not, and, you know, not going through any third parties, nothing like that. But for an iPhone, you even got to have a damn MacBook or iPad or something like that. You know what I mean? MacBook Pro. But you gotta have something like that for that to be compatible, so y'all can flip flop and air, air drop this and all this other stuff. So another thing with the airdrop that kills the game too as well. So you know they do a lot, man. And Samsung, you know Samsung does a lot too as well. You know, but a lot of you just really don't know about the Samsung phones. They just really seem like they don't care about you know all these other phones, yo. Like you know even the Pixel with the software and things like that. You know, and one thing about Samsung that I like, and I'm going to give them their credit as well, is that they unbeatable when it comes to, you know, if somebody spent 38 years in prison and they come out, they come out of prison or something like that, and they want to get a damn cheap phone to start with, a smartphone to start with, Motorola and Samsung are unbeatable when it comes to that. They be having damn phones for $30 on up. You know what I mean? So that's why I like the Samsung as well, because at least they give you a try you know, and that's what I like about Samsung and Motorola because they, you know, if you brand new to the smartphones, old person or whatever, they, hey, man, go to Walmart or something like that, get you a $40, $50 phone. It's not going to be the best, but you're going to get the hang of it after a while. Press this button, sw swipe this over and stuff like that. So I give them credit on that, you know. Um, and yeah, like I said, Samsung have a lot of good pre-owned phones too as well. I'm seeing the S9. I saw the Note 10, the Note 20. You know, just like you just they they phones are just quick and fast too, man. Especially with they cameras and and the eight K already in them cameras and stuff like that, man. Like it's just you know, Samsung do a good ass job on their pictures and video. They unbeatable unbeatable on that part as well. You know, um might have some other stuff going on with them. But look at this a Note ten plus four nineteen. You know, a lot of people a lot of people yo just I don't know, man, a lot of people skip over that, the Note nine. Look at that, 280. A lot of people skip over this, man. They do, man. You know, so... I just wanted to, you know, phone, have a little phone talk with y'all. Look at that damn Note 20. I was thinking about getting a Note 22 on, on Target. Target don't even got it for this much. You know, it ain't for... You feel what I'm saying? But look at... But Samsung can still do that, too, as well. But what I noticed, too, when, it, when you're dealing with different countries and stuff right now... Because I noticed that, too, as well. Like a like Samsung be real big over in India. I'll be looking at videos on you know just a lot of Indians be having them damn type of phones over there. Sometimes the Africans, um, the Mexicans as well. You know a lot of this, these type different types of countries. Yo, Samsung and them be real big over there. You know, and it seems like iPhones over here is just really directed to like the youth on up. Like they have the superstars push this and stuff like this, but like. You know, you just be surprised, man. I don't know how it really is over in Japan or nothing like that, but most likely a lot of these iPhones and stuff come from Japan. So that they, they probably definitely big over there too as well as far as the iPhones. You know, but um hey man, leave a comment and tell me which phone that you like using the best and all that. I like all I like everything. You know, what I mean if I if I had a good decent Android and a good decent iPhone, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Like that that really beats the odds of everything. You know, if you get a good, good damn iPhone, like an iPhone, uh, what the hell, uh, 14, and then you get a Samsung Galaxy S23 that's coming out, 
Or you can get like a Pixel uh, 7. You know, either one of those. You know, and just as long as you get a good Android and a good um, iPhone, you good, man. Because that's best of both worlds, really. You know, like I said, that's really best of both worlds like that. Like, you can, it's unbeatable. Also, too, they got these adapters and ports where you can flip-flop and, you know, swap stuff over with both phones and stuff like that without losing no la using any laptop. So, that's kind of good, too, as well. But, um, yeah, man, sorry if I was talking too much. It's your boy, Tutter. It's a little bit of phone talk. Peace.